an Israeli politician is getting criticism for pulling out a gun and commanding the cops next to him to start firing at Palestinians for throwing rocks, bringing guns to a rock fight. The politician in question is Itamar Ben Gavir, who's head of the extreme right wing party there, uh, the Atzma Yehudit party. So let's watch this disturbing video. So in the first clip here, you can see that rocks are being thrown. And in the second clip here, I just want to note that Ben Kavir is saying, don't look here, if they throw stones, shoot them. So quite the chaotic scene. This is how the politician is responding to rocks being thrown in this direction. Bringing out a gun himself and directing the cops to shoot at the Palestinians there. So Ben Gavir was visiting the Sheikh Jarrah neighborhood in East Jerusalem, where there's been fighting over the past few nights. And he claims that he pulled out his gun because he felt threatened, felt threatened by the rocks that were being thrown, thought bullets was a reasonable response to that. Uh, he gave this quote, the politicians are tying the hands of our cops. It cannot be that Arabs throw stones next to cops and the cops don't respond with fire. Ben Gavir visited that same neighborhood on Wednesday night when he threatened to mow Palestinians down if they throw stones. He said, we're landlords here, remember that, I am your landlord. Really oh. just saying oh. the quiet part out loud. What are yeah. your thoughts? Yeah, so this is of course absolutely disgusting. But I, I, look, I want you to think it through, okay? So let's say that somebody threw a stone at me. Actually, I've had a stone thrown at me when I was a kid and it landed on my head. And I was bleeding from the head and the kid's mom comes out and goes, what did you do to my son? I'm like, what did, what did I do to your son? I'm bleeding from the head. So, um, and if you had said to me at that point, hey, here's a gun, you wanna shoot him? I'd be like, no, what are you, a monster? Why would I? I, like, yeah, I'm super mad. I'm like, my, I'm bleeding from the head. I'm not gonna murder that kid, right? But this guy thinks, oh yeah, not only that, he said, shoot into the crowd. Not himself, like, he pulled out his own gun and he might have done it himself, and you saw the people holding him back, right? But he told the guards there, just shoot into the crowd, kill him, kill him. But there's one guy who threw a stone. I saw one stone, right? Let's say there's two guys that threw a stone, right? There's 12, 20 people, however many people there. If you said to me, hey, somebody's gonna throw a stone at you, and by the way, miss, and they're in a crowd of 12 people, should we kill all 12? Guys, I mean, even if you're the most right-wing Israeli there is, really kill, kill them all? Because one threw a stone and missed, and you wanna kill the other guys that are, if please don't answer yes, so you can live with yourself, right? But that guy's a very prominent politician and could be part of the next governing coalition in Israel. And by the way, one of his policy planks is to loosen the restrictions on using live bullets so they could kill more Palestinians. This occupation is brutal. And then he comes in and rubs it in their face, goes, I'm your landlord. It's just about as disgusting as you can imagine. Yeah, I, I like Jessica that you said saying the quiet part out loud because I feel like this is, that's the quiet part that shouldn't be said out loud. And yet, this is a prominent Israeli politician. And Jenk, you were, you know, the story you were telling was you as a little boy. This is like, a voting member of the Israeli government, like someone who actually has political power, who's like, you throw a stone at me, I'm gonna shoot you all. I mean, it's crazy, it's genocide, it's genocide. This is the ruling party, the landlords over Palestinians who are like, we're gonna kill you all if you even dare to like throw a rock at our feet like and miss. Like, come on, it's just, it's so ridiculous. I feel like supporting Israel at this point is like supporting a real crappy cop. It's like being best friends with Derek Chauvin, the guy who, who killed George Floyd, right? It's like, even his wife left him. Like mm -hmm. Derek Chauvin's wife is like, I'm out of here. Like you're such a like, disgusting specimen of a human. Like I'm not, I'm getting divorced, but it's like, if you were like the childhood best friend of Derek Chauvin was like, no man, I mean, I know like, you know, sometimes he can get a little out of line, but like he's still, he's my homie, he's my homie. That's what it feels like 
yeah. supporting Israel is for the United States right now. Is like, yeah, there are homies, but we cannot defend the horrible things that they do. Yeah, to that point, um, look, Israel is not a monolith, right? So there is actually uh, members of opposing political parties that were left-wing progressive uh, Israeli cabinet, not cabinet members, but members of, of the Knesset that said that this guy doesn't belong in the Knesset, he belongs in jail. So there are Israelis who are also really mad at him, okay? But when you look at what is your government doing? Well, that's why we're asking the people of Israel along with everyone else, you gotta tackle Derek Chauvin before he does it again, okay? So, so we do it, so when we invaded Iraq, we were on there, Young Turks was. We said, don't, don't invade Iraq, that's terrible, we'll be monsters. And we were, we killed hundreds of thousands of civilians. So we, you don't say that because you hate America, you say that because you love America and you want America to be better and to not do something outrageous and awful, right? And guys, at this point, is it a question that Israel is an apartheid state? Of course it's not a question. There's, look, that same guy that pulled out the gun, he said, I want, if, if they hit any of our tanks with stones, we should get out of the tank and use live ammunition and kill them all, okay? Now, when they asked them, well, Israeli settlers also sometimes attack Israeli tanks. Should you do the same thing? He didn't answer. In other words, he's saying, I'm a racist. For the same exact thing, you should let Jews do it all the time, Jewish settlers, right? But if a Palestinian does it, you should murder them. Well, if that's not racist, I don't know what is. So he doesn't represent all of Israel, but he could be part of a governing coalition suit. The way you say, no, that's not me, that guy's a monster, is by voting against him. Right, Jessica. I don't wanna to read too much into what's been said here, because I understand there could be a language barrier, but what he said was specifically, it cannot be that Arabs throw stones next to cops and the cops don't respond with fire. Okay, next to cops, you're not even hitting the cops with the stones, respond with fire. Also, this is not about just anyone throwing stones at the cops and the cops being in danger. This is very clearly you know, because they don't like the Palestinian people and are committing apartheid against the Palestinian people. And Israel has just upgraded its oppressive campaign against the Palestinians in Israel. So let's get into some of those details there. Commanders of the Israeli occupying forces, the IOF, have been authorized to use armed drones to kill Palestinians in the occupied West Bank. Although drones have been employed for surveillance, this is the first time armed drones will be utilized in the occupied West Bank. So armed drones have been authorized in Gaza for years now uh, and have been used to kill Palestinians. Drones, the frontline weapon in Israel's surveillance operation, efforts to foil rocket attacks killed more than 90 Palestinians in each of the years 2006 and 2007. According to Gaza human rights group El Mizan, the figures soared during Operation Cast Lead and its aftermath with 461 Palestinians killed by drones in 2009. The number peaked again with 199 deaths in 2012, the year when Israel launched the eight day Operation Pillar of Defense against Gaza. Drones are also used uh, to drop tear gas on Palestinians. So, I mean, this is a sci-fi movie, this is just, horror on top of horror. So they're like, "Oh, we had to kill the Palestinians because they were throwing stones. So that's that self-defense. Otherwise, I might have gotten a scratch." Um, and, and you know, you say, "Oh, Jank, don't minimize it with a scratch." Look, the I'm going to go back to my it, not analogy, but what actually happened when I was a kid, right? That story, he didn't pick up a little stone. It was a giant chunk of the driveway that had fallen out, right? And so and and trust me that when you're bleeding from the head, it hurts a lot. Under no circumstances would I have said, even though it squarely hit me, it was a giant piece of rock, it caused massive damage. No way, even as a kid, would I have said, murder that kid because he threw that stone. This guy's saying, throw it at my feet, kill him, right? And on the drones, well, it's not self defense. There's no Israeli there. Yeah. They're just saying, kill him, kill him. Yeah. So now it's not only, it's not, it's not only, me, you're hurting me personally, but my stuff, don't injure my stuff. If you even try to injure my stuff, then I'm gonna mow you down. It's like, like you said, there's no Israeli there. It's a drone, it's an unmanned drone. It's basically an Israeli soldier is playing a video game 
inside a very secure bunker playing a video game with this drone, but actually shooting at actual live Palestinians. But if the Palestinians somehow throw a rock like, and this, you scratch my stuff, oh, it's on now, boy. <laughs> We're coming after you because you came after our stuff. Like the whole thing is, it's, imagine the United States doing this. I mean, I know we have horrible cops that are killing people of color every day, but imagine if we authorize the use of drugs. Like militarized drones in the United States on US soil against people of color. Like, what? Like, in what universe is this okay? This is, it's, it's like, again, this is just, we're supporting the worst cops. Yeah, but you know, it's, you said, imagine if America did, it did do it. But in a sense, we do do it because we pay for those drones. Mm. So we give billions of dollars in military funding to Israel. And then they use it for unmanned drones that murder Palestinians. So, like, you know, I hear big talk from the Tucker Carlson's and the Tulsi Gabbard's about, like, oh, we shouldn't fund the Ukrainians. They might use it to kill poor Russian uh, soldiers that have invaded their country, right? Don't do that, right? Well, how about Israel? They're using it for drones against oftentimes civilians mm -hmm. in civilian territory when there's not potentially not anybody in danger. So obviously we shouldn't be funding their military too, right? But weirdly, the right wing has never spoken out against that. In fact, every Republican says they will give Israel whatever they want and has voted that way every single time. By the way, Tulsi Gabbard also loves war against Muslims and has greatly complimented Israel's right wing government and doesn't mind any of this, right? So just to give you a sense of the overwhelming hypocrisy of America and the right wing in this instance. That's exactly what I was thinking as well. Not only Tulsi Gabbard, but thinking about the comments we heard from Kanye West this week, right? Clearly anti-Semitic and earned the defense of pretty much everyone in the conservative party. You had Candace Owens saying these, these weren't anti-Semitic comments. It's like you can't even say anything about Jewish people without being called anti-Semitic. But if we call out what the Israeli government is doing to the Palestinian people, the title that we always get called is anti-Semitic. Mm -hmm. This isn't about anti-Semitism. This is about someone committing human rights violations. Yeah. And of course, it's the same people that will call folks anti-Semitic who stand up for the Palestinian people that defend people like Kanye West in America. So they're like, oh, targeting Palestinians because of their race. Remember, the legislator said, do not shoot the Israeli settlers that are doing the same exact thing, right? Only shoot the Palestinians. That's based on their race. They're like, oh, that kind of racism that actually murders people? No problem at all. No problem at all, okay? Uh, cr oh, how dare you criticize the, f the policy of a foreign government? They say with a straight face. Oh, we'll call that anti Semitic. <laughs> That's absurd. That's absurd. I just told you there's wonderful progressives in Israel. And, and by the way, uh, Jewish Americans that are not in Israel. Every time Candace Owens, and Tucker, etc., talk about Jews, they're like, "Oh, yeah, how about Israel?" They're like, "Wait, we're not talking about Israel. We're talking about Jewish Americans. They're Americans. They're not Israelis, right?" And so, because Candace said, "Oh, Kanye is not anti-Semitic. Uh, what's he going to do? Drop a bomb on Israel tomorrow?" No, we're talking about Jews in America that are Americans. <laughs> and you know what? The, how they vote? Over seventy percent Democratic. They're among the most progressive people in the country uh, overall in terms of demographics, right? So understand who's trying to trick you and who's trying to tell you reality about policy, policy that where lives are on the line. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun, but you also get Playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So, all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.